working alone is an entirely different experience for everyone. Some people thrive in an environment where they're by themselves, capable of turning out excellent work while remaining focused. Other people are like squirrels when left to their own devices. Employees may suffer when they do not have regular contact with other people. Regardless of how working alone is experienced, it is a hazard requiring mitigation. It also plays a role in an organization's level of psychological safety. Many truck drivers work alone most of the time with brief interactions with other people at truck stops, loading docks, or with dispatchers. Some may have co-drivers. Because of the often solo nature of driving, distress might not be noticed by others. Solitary drivers might also be the target of violence. Workers may have feelings of being disconnected with work, have unclear expectations, or feel there is a lack of social support. Because of this, psychological health and safety may suffer. Part 28 of the Alberta Occupational Health and Safety Code describes the precautions that must be taken when workers are working alone. There must be a method of communication and appropriate check-in intervals. If communication is not possible, the employer or designate must visit the worker on-site or have the worker check-in at appropriate intervals. Depending on the nature of the work being performed, a driver may fall under the definition of working alone. Delivering a load to a remote work site, for example, may fall into that category. Drivers who spend most of their time on public roads may not be classified as working alone. That said, companies must still address working alone in their hazard assessments. The use of electronic logbook devices and telematics can assist a company in keeping track of their driver's location. Having regular check-ins with a person, though, can make the contact feel more personal and human. Asking how the trip is going, how their day has been, and how the driver is feeling can go a long way to making a person feel more connected. Companies with a reputation for supporting their drivers can be more competitive from a recruitment and retention point of view. It is also possible to send out two drivers as a team to avoid the working alone scenario, but that also has potential downsides. The drivers would have to be able to work well together and be able to resolve personal conflicts.